Summer is over and now it's time to transition our wardrobe. Today I will be sharing five ways on how I prepare and organize and get ready for my fall capsule wardrobe. Hi, I'm Rosenda and welcome back to my Little Pink Casa channel. Welcome if you're new. I will be sharing more about fall wardrobe and fall romantic style and home. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. If you haven't started already to go into your closet and to decide what you're gonna wear for fall or winter, then you're gonna love this video. So there's five steps that I wanted to share in this video specifically. And the first one is going through our summer wardrobe. I'm gonna take you into my closet right now and we're gonna see my summer wardrobe. So let's go. Welcome to my closet. So the first thing that I'm going to do when I'm preparing my seasonal wardrobe and I'm switching over to the next season is I'm gonna go through the wardrobe that I'm currently in. So right now it's my summer wardrobe that I'm gonna be switching out. The good thing about having a capsule wardrobe or a 10 item wardrobe is it's all in one place and there's not a bunch of different clothing around. The only thing else I have hanging in my closet besides my capsule 10 item wardrobe are my items like my robes and my nightgowns and my gowns and a wedding dress because <laughs> I do keep my wedding dress in here. So those are all the things I have hanging along with my 10 item wardrobe. This makes it easy because all I have to do is look at everything that I have and then I can decide what I'm going to pick and choose to carry into my transitional fall wardrobe. Now what I call transitional wardrobe is because we are in the month of September and we will be going into the month of October. Usually September it's still warm, it's not that cool yet. So it's a time where you can kind of mix and match and maybe add specific things from summer, still wear the summer items, but kind of layer them. So as I look at my summer wardrobe, there are a few key pieces that I want to take into my fall season. And one of them is this blouse that I'm wearing right now because I usually don't bring this blouse out until around this time. And I did pull this out, so I'm already wearing it. And I actually tied it along with this really cute dress that I actually purchased just for my seasonal 10 item wardrobe. But I'm wearing this already today for the video so you can see what I'm wearing. So I'm not gonna pull that because I'm wearing it. But I am going to pull a couple extra things. I'm gonna pull this dress out. And I'm going to also pull my pretty house dress out. And then I also have this cute gingham dress that I always pull out for fall. And I do have this beautiful dress that I purchased. And have you seen me wear this before? I intentionally bought this specific dress for this transitional fall time and also to wear in fall because I'm really going for these pretty uh, pinks and mauve colors for fall. So this will fit right in with my color palette. That's one thing I always do is I try to keep a color palette of some sort. And my color palette for summer was a lot of pinks and blues kind of mixed together. So now I'm gonna kind of warm those pinks up and go into more mauves and kind of keep the pinks, but I'm going a little darker on my blues. So as you can see, I have navy blue, which I love wearing in September because it's such a great transitional color. So also from blouses, I think I'm gonna take this into fall with me. This was a blouse I specifically bought for a transitional wardrobe from August, but I'm gonna bring that into fall because it's so pretty and I love it. And this is gonna fit in with um, the blues and the pretty earth tones and the florals that I love so much. And then I also am going to bring this pretty white blouse because I just think a nice basic white blouse is great. Even though you think the white is for summer, I really think that a nice white blouse is great for any seasonal wardrobe, especially fall, because you can pair this with cardigans and jeans or skirts. I also have been wearing this cute little cardigan. This is an extra, but since it's here, I'm just gonna take it with me too because I want all my extras and things to come together. Eventually, I'm gonna put everything of my fall wardrobe here. So I'm gonna get rid of the rest of this and I'm gonna show you where I keep the rest of my fall items. And then we're gonna move on to step two. These are the clothes that I'm choosing so far for my capsule wardrobe. And then I'm going to arrange it by color and keep my blouses together, put any extras. 
assigned, keep the dresses together and kind of see what I have. I don't have any pinks and I really want to add some more mauves and more earth tones and more colors that are more fallish. And that brings us to step two. Step two is going to go look for all the old fall clothes that I have put away. And you might ask me, where are those clothes? Come on and I'll show you. And here is where I store my fall wardrobe or any seasonal wardrobe that I'm not wearing at the moment. It is in my suitcase. Yes, I keep it all in a big giant suitcase and I store this in my garage. For me, I don't have any extra space and I find it's just easier if I just pack everything in for the season. And then when it's time to switch seasons, all I have to do is roll the suitcase into my bedroom and then open it up and then pick and choose what I wanna keep. So it's basically like I'm shopping in my own closet, but I'm shopping for my suitcase, <laughs> if that makes sense. So in my suitcase, I, I've already packed some of my summer things. I will be taking all those clothes that you saw in my closet and I will be packing the rest in here. And then anything extra that I have of fall or winter, I have already pulled out and I have put on my bed. And a lot of the items like sweaters for winter are also out, but I'm not gonna go through those yet because I'm not gonna be wearing sweaters right now. I'm only looking for fall transitional items and things that I can wear right now until I get to the colder months. So this is how I do it. And I've never shared this method before. I don't know if anyone else does it like this, but <laughs> this helps me, especially if you don't have an extra closet to be able to put all your other clothes in, or if you live in an apartment or you just don't have enough storage space. This is the greatest way that I think would work for you. Another quick tip to help store my clothes in here is I just keep a nice sachet in here. These are specifically fresh scents and I can link these too. They're so cute. They come in really cute patterns. I like this one for fall. Also in the zipper part of my suitcase, I can keep all the extra accessories, the extra clutter, the thicker things. For example, in this pocket, I do have some accessories I keep in here from fall, winter from last year and I have gloves, things like that, scarves that are more fall. So in other words, these are things that I'm not gonna wanna see in my closet during the spring or summer, but I do have a specific bend that these will go in. I also have mittens in here. So all these kind of fall winter accessories are going to come out and then I'm going to put them in a bin. So back in my closet, there are some bins that I do keep a lot of my extras, accessories, maybe shorts, swimwear, all those extra things that you really don't have a spot to hang. And I do keep those in bins. As you can see above here, I have bins that I do put all those things in on both sides. And I also have a hat box that I keep all my hats in. And most of my other beautiful hats, I like to display them on the wall in my closet, as you see here. I just love seeing them in my closet. They add some pretty feminine vintage style to it. But using bins is a great way to be able to keep everything organized and concealed so you don't see a bunch of clutter. And also I do recommend white bins only because it keeps everything bright and it also goes with everything. So no matter what your color scheme is, it will match. This is one of the bins that I had up in my closet. I actually have all my summer swim things in here. I have some new flip flops that I never wore, so they're clean, but I can save them for next year. So I wanna keep all those things together. I have my swimsuits, my cover up, and my lounging set for the pool, and all that kind of good stuff. So I will be taking all of these things out, and then I can swap these kind of things, like accessories and stuff, and put them in here. And then they will go right up into my closet, and nobody will know that they're there except for me. And when I'm ready for them, I'll just pull them down. So for in here, I can put the flip flops that I have here. And then for my swimsuits, I have this upper area here and then I also have some flannel scarves. So I'm going to take all these scarves out. Now I'm going to put things like my swimsuit. I do have some t-shirts in here, souvenir t-shirts that I've actually um, saved through the years. I don't want to see all those things in my closet because I'm not wearing those all the time, but I do want to have a space for them. 
for now I'm just gonna put all these things in here and then when I have time later I will go and sort through all the ones that I will want to keep and one of the things that I will want to wear with my wardrobe that I'm putting together because I can't really pick the accessories that I want to keep right now until I've already finalized and put my clothing wardrobe together but this method really does help me because it helps me be able to take things from one season to the next replace them and then I'm done put this in my closet and it's that easy so after I took everything out of my suitcase that I decided that was fall and winter and then I put all my summer items into the suitcase so I did a little switcheroo, right? Now it's time to go through all the clothes and see which of these things are gonna match my color palette for the season. What are some things that may be needing mending? What are some things that I just don't like anymore? Maybe I just wanna get rid of. I have some sweaters here, some cardigans, some long sleeve blouses. I also have a scarf. This scarf right here, it's very pretty. I really like this. And I think I'm going to keep this scarf for this year. I absolutely love this Express cardigan. It's so old. I've had this for like 15 years. But when I look at it, I see a stain on here. I'm going to have to see if I can take that stain out. And if I can't, then I probably will have to say goodbye to this cardigan. But that's okay because I have a list made and I'm going to talk about that in our next step. I also have this beautiful dress that I've worn in the past fall wardrobe, but it's kind of fading and it's starting to look a little worn. So I think that I might be saying goodbye to this dress now and not adding this into my fall wardrobe this year. One thing I love to wear during fall winter are cardigans. Those are my ultimate favorite. So these are the cardigans that I will be bringing back because it does fit my color scheme and it is the pumpkin-y, pretty color. I love this, I got this last year for my fall 10 item wardrobe. I also am going to bring this dress. This was part of my summer 10 item wardrobe um, a while back, but I'm going to bring it for fall because I love the colors and they go with my color scheme. And then this dress was a spring dress and it's very warm though, so it's a good fall dress. It has long sleeves and I bought this through Mrs. Shockley's online boutique called A Home for Elegance. And I think there are a couple few left of these. I will link them down below if they do have this still. Now that I've gone through all my fall wardrobe, I decided what things I'm going to keep. I'm going to add them to my rack. And then I'm also going to try these on. And part of step two is also try on what you want to keep in your wardrobe and make sure it still fits and is in good shape. So now I'm going to get all of my clothes that I decided to put in my fall wardrobe, the ones that are old clothes that I shopped from, my closet and my suitcase, and I'm going to put these on the rack along with the others. So next is step three, and step three is list everything down and write it down. Put everything down that you need to shop for. So I have a list made for all the items that I need. Here is my fall wardrobe shopping list. I've created a list of things that I'm looking for. I'm actually going to be shopping for a pink cardigan, a new mom jean, three blouses, a coat or trench. I'm also going to be looking for something maybe plaid or vintage style to add to my wardrobe, three dresses, a beige purse, some cream boots and black heel pumps, and a few new sweaters. I have it all ready to go, so I'm going to be shopping for those items and know exactly what I need to fill the gaps in my fall wardrobe. So after I've made a list of all the items that I'm going to need or shop for, then I'm going to budget which items are necessary, and that is step four. Budgeting and making sure I know the exact things that I'm going to need. So I know that I love pink, for example, and I could have everything in pink. I could have pink shoes, I could have pink purses, I could have pink dresses, but do I really need that? And that leads me to the last step, which is step five. This is where I start to create different outfits for the wardrobe and for what I already have before I go shopping because I wanna start wearing some of these things. For example, like this outfit I have right now. I'm gonna show you how I create an outfit from what I already have. And I'm gonna take this dress right here and take it from summer to fall. 
So one way I like to create outfits is I lay them on the bed. I know that sounds really funny, but um, that's what I do and it works. So I'm gonna lay it down and I just put it out. And this is also how I style things for Instagram. If you're always wondering, this is how I do it. I also have a new tote that I purchased recently that I am adding to my fall wardrobe and it's this beautiful Lauren Conrad bag. It's a tote. I love it because it's perfect for fall and I'm just gonna put that with this and I think it would look great adding some fall texture to this. So I'm just gonna hang this here, but this will go with that. So I'm also going to add some nude heels, and these are some beautiful heels that I just purchased uh, specifically for fall, but I think those will look great too. I also could do a boot with this dress, but for now I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, formal and put some heels with that. And then I also have the cardigans that I chose to bring back into my fall wardrobe. And then I'm going to add an accessory, which is that pretty headband that I purchased. And there is one transitional fall outfit I created really quickly, but now I need to try it on. It may look good on the bed, but it also has to look good while it's on me. So here I am at the outfit. I put it together. I like this for a transitional outfit. And the little headband looks really pretty. Even though it is an older dress and an older cardigan, I just added new accessories like my shoes and my headband and a new bag and I have a brand new fall outfit. So those are the five steps that I take to be able to prepare a seasonal wardrobe. So I shared a little bit of what I need to go shopping for. Now I wanna know what you're looking for. Comment down below and tell me one thing that you're looking for and shopping for for your fall wardrobe. If you want more information about the 10 item wardrobe, I do have a playlist up here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.